Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide and we are on December 7th, 2020 and welcome to the Volcanic Activity Report where we look at all of the active and erupting volcanoes over the last week. Observing here one of the multiple eruptions that happened at Popopoketitl today. And if you were checking out the live stream early this morning Lots of the mods were keeping an eye on the volcanoes around the world as it's been very active. So right now we're observing 43 active and erupting volcanoes. So those are the orange and the red icons. The yellow icons are showing unrest. But here we're only pointing out the ones that are active and erupting. Marking out here the active regions. As well, Etna was showing multiple eruptions early this morning, overnight, sorry, in Italy, but we were observing it this morning. So stay ready, stay aware and prepared because there's a lot going on. Stay tuned to the world update because we do have a flare that was earth directed. So stay tuned. We will be sharing that with you soon but we're starting out here with of course the very active and erupting Popopoketitl multiple eruptions overnight probably one of the most active volcanoes in the world Santiaguito Fuego and Pacaya at Talica who has awakened this week Recon de la Vejo Terriabla As well Nevada the rules and look at all of these volcanoes in between Reventador and Nevados the rules all showing unrest Sangue moving further south Sabancaya in Peru Nevada's the Chilean as well Villa Rica down here in the South Sandwich Islands the Michael volcano showing unrest but yeah in this video I wanted to point out too I mean we're looking at a hundred that are showing unrest if you want to look at it that way we're looking at at least a hundred and some of them are a bit concerning especially around the subduction zones in the Caribbean there are still a lot of ghost volcanoes and there's still a lot of our history that we don't know about. Continuing on here with Piton de la Fontaine, who last year had a pretty large eruption. Quick look there, Google Earth. Mayat Island showing some unrest. Oldoinia in Africa showing some unrest. Near Marigongo and near Marigira. Erp de Ale, a volcano. And of course, Etna and Stromboli. A Campi, a Fergie, Fergie. Not sure quite how to say that. Moving down into the Banda Sea with the Barren Island volcano. Cinnabung, Carinchi, Krakatoa. Showing unrest, Semeru, Sangang, Sangang Api, Luatolo, Agung, down into Kadavor, Langila, 
the Papua New Guineas, Ibu Volcano, Dukano, and as well Karangatang. And then a lot of activity throughout Japan today with Swiss and Najima, Kashina Ribajima, Swiss and Najima, and two other volcanoes now showing unrest in the area. Of course, Ebigo, Kluchevskoy, Bezimieni, and Shevlach showing a lot of activity as well. Yes, sir, volcano. White, uh, White Island volcano has been taken off the alert map. And then the mighty Erubis and Antarctica. And Mauna Loa showing some unrest. Been observing a lot of earthquakes in the, this region recently. Stay safe, stay aware and prepared. I do believe we're on a verge of a large crustal shift. Some of these ghost volcanoes may awaken yet again. Just look at the west coast, riddled with dormant volcanoes. But to particularly, I want to go into the Cascades and then westward into the Aleutian Islands. But all of these dormant volcanoes are showing a lot of activity around it. And as I've been documenting, there's a lot of sulfur emissions that are coming from somewhere. Volcanic ash that is being picked up on GO-16 satellite. Many dormant volcanoes around the world. And we're only beginning to understand and learn what is on our planet. You talk about super volcanoes. I mean, even Weather Network, Weather Network is talking about possible super volcano in Alaska. Now, that's something I've been observing as well. But they were talking about these small islands right here. Island of volcanoes. But really, if you look just east, you've got evidence of one of the largest calderas I've seen on the planet. And it is evident that probably in our recent history, it has erupted. This caldera is massive. This is not an impact crater. This is a dormant volcano. And there are many tiny lakes and tiny peaks underneath So coming up here on December 14th to the 21st, I do believe that we are going to be on the verge of a large volcanic shift and seismic increase. So stay safe, stay aware and prepared. This has been the Volcanic Activity Report, observing 43 active and erupting volcanoes. Thanks for watching today. Don't forget to hit that like button. Please share and comment. Bye-bye. And don't forget to check out dailyeventsworldwide.com where you can get all the latest news and events and share your photos and videos. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.